All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is uh, Wednesday. It's the day before New Year's Eve, and we got some snow. We got uh, about eight inches of wet, 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 heavy snow, and uh, it just got done snowing, and now it's raining. But uh, we're gonna get after this driveway and um, get it plowed out for you guys, and we'll show you how we use um, our Kubota L2350 25 horsepower diesel tractor. It, it's, it's a late 90s model, or early 90s model, I'm sorry, but it, it does the job real good for around here. We won't want nothing too much bigger. And um, we'll show you how we do that with the driveway. It's pretty wet and heavy, so it builds up. And uh, I'd like to get you guys some more angles, but it's just so hard when it, I'm sliding all over with this uh, tractor. I just kind of want to get it done because it is raining out here. So when we get a better snow, a little uh, colder out and fluffier, we'll get you some better angles on how we use this tractor and uh, we'll get you how we, uh, how we do it more. But for now, here's a little sneak peek on how we do the uh, driveway with the Kubota. You guys seen how we do it with the Cub Cadet. And now we're going to show you how we kind of do it with the Kubota. So stick around. this part of the driveway is all done uh, as you can see we're starting to acquire some banks here that one little snow it's pretty wet and heavy now it's starting to rain but uh it's real wet and heavy i had the blower on the cub cadet and that that would have done nothing for this so i had to bust out the kubota l2350 which is a tank for this 25 horsepower diesel kubota it's a little older one but it really gets the job done nice on all my projects around the house so as you can see we're starting to get some banks like i said but uh this part of the driveway is done, and we'll move on to where uh, you turn around and go into the garage at now. But uh, I can't believe it, the plows already went by. Usually we're the last road in the community to get plowed, but they were out early at it last night, so they're getting her done. So we got all that cleaned up so we won't get any of this uh, <coughs> when they come by and throw it into your driveway type of stuff. So uh, we'll get moving on to the next part of the driveway 
and we'll show you how we get that done with the Kubota and see how many banks we can build there. We got it up off the main driveway here and I'm glad we did because it's really starting to rain pretty good right now you guys probably can't see it on the camera but it's really starting to rain it's almost like a spring day rain but uh that's all up got the car moved over there plow a little spot for that and then the banks here are starting to get pretty good but they'll settle down with this warm weather we're gonna have in the next day or so tomorrow is looking really good for New Year's Eve and the fireworks show I'll be able to get up early and get that all set up with no weather uh, stipulations there it don't look like but yeah this is all cleaned up and uh, we're gonna get the Kubota back up here and we're gonna probably pull the Cub Cadet out and I'm gonna see how well that does on the pass to the chicken coop the pole barn and for the dogs and uh, I gotta get a spot over there in the yard plowed out for my firework boards but we'll try that if it don't work we'll have to use the Kubota again but that Kubota is a L2350 25 horsepower diesel tractor it's an early 90s model but it really does the job and it's a it's a tank for doing snow and anything we need around here it's a perfect size tractor i wouldn't want much bigger than that for around our homestead and what we do but the driveway is looking good it's all plowed out just in time for the rain to come down and make it real icy so we might have to go to the store and get some salt and spread it around on the at least the cement here and uh end of the driveway so you don't go sliding into the road but we'll get them all plowed out over here and uh, the trails and for the fireworks and for the fire tomorrow. But uh, that's about it for this video. So if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up and uh, share it with your friends. Uh, we really would like you to like this video. It really helps us small YouTube channels out if you give us a like. It gets the word out there and uh, gets us a little bit more uh, publicity when you give us a like. So if you have time and you, and you like what you see, just hit that little like button and uh, comment. We do like to read the comments and share it with your friends. So like I always say, we'll see you on the next go around.